In today's video, we are going to examine the off-court life and on-court performance of the only player to win back-to-back -back championships in 2018 and 2019. Can you guess who it is? It is, of course, Chris Boucher. Make sure to watch until the end to uncover his secret. Boucher is a player that was born overseas in the Caribbean island of St. Lucia, in the capital, Castries, in 1993. At the age of five, he moved to Montreal with his mom to go and live with his father, who was a Canadian resident. Unfortunately, however, his parents had a rocky relationship and they divorced when he was young. This led Boucher to having a poor relationship with his father, and when his mother moved in with a new man that Boucher had a poor relationship relationship with, he was given a choice. Live with his mom and her new husband, or go and live with his disciplinarian father. He decided against either option, dropping out of high school and becoming homeless in the process. Between the ages of 16 and 18, Boucher was homeless, surfing from couch to couch in his friends. Boucher stated, Where I grew up, there was a lot of drugs, a lot of crime, and a lot of gangs. I had to try and find my way to prosperity without doing anything crazy. From this statement, Boucher is revealing a lot about himself. He was willing to work hard and make his way out of poverty, but only in the right way and with a determination to stay away from the more illegal avenues out of his predicament. He used to, quote, wake up and first thing in the morning call my friends and see who could go and play basketball, end quote. This shows his levels of determination and passion for the game that would ultimately see him on the path toward becoming an NBA player. Whilst couch surfing, he also held down a job as a cook and a dishwasher in a St. Hubert restaurant. In 2012, he was offered a spot on a tournament basketball team and scored 44 points in the tournament final, which caught the eyes of Igor Rugema and Abraham Apia, two coaches working at the Alma Academy. Boucher joined Alma Academy, a school that was created to give children from less well-off areas of the city an opportunity to flourish and provide them with career prospects that they would not have received anywhere else in their life. Under the guidance of coach Abraham Apia, Boucher began to flourish. Apia stated, He grew a lot at the academy. It was the first time he was in a stable situation. Boucher is truly grateful for the part that the academy played in his life and it gave him a goal to work towards, a life as an NBA player. Boucher also worked towards gaining a high school diploma while at the academy, a step he knew was necessary not just for his basketball career, but to further his potential career options if basketball did not work out. While there, Boucher scored 29 points and grabbed 12 boards against the New Jersey Blair Academy, which attracted interest from scouts. Boucher has maintained close links with the staff and other players at Alma, and it's obvious that he treasures his time spent there as it gave him the platform to develop his game in a safe and stable environment. Without Alma, it's likely Boucher would not be where he is today. Boucher eventually moved on from the Alma Academy to junior colleges. He was required to do this in order to get his grades up to a good enough standard where he could move on to the NCAA and begin to play high-level college basketball. During his playing days at the junior colleges, he made a name for himself as a hard worker and tenacious rebounder and began to attract interest from the bigger four-year schools that were part of the NCAA. He eventually received enough interest that he was able to fill a shoebox with all the letters and emails from interested parties. Boucher eventually chose the University of Oregon. His coach, Dana Altman, was worried by Boucher's thin physique, but more than impressed by his energy and tenacity on the court. In just his second game, Boucher was facing off against Rico Gathers, a player that would go on to become an NFL tight end. Boucher scored 15 points and grabbed 8 boards. He also set a single season blocks record for Oregon with 110 blocks over the course of the season. This shows just how tenacious and determined he was. Playing at power forward and getting that many blocks is perhaps something you would expect more from a center. However, Boucher had the drive to achieve this record, showing that he had the correct mental fortitude to go on to make a mark on the NBA. In his senior season, he was named to the Pac-12 Defensive Team of the Year as he led the conference in blocks with 2.6 blocks a game and recorded a career-high 19 rebounds in a game against Montana. Unfortunately for Boucher, he tore his ACL in the March of the season and was ruled out for the remainder, meaning he was unable to work out with teams and as a result went undrafted. Journey to an NBA Team the Golden State Warriors signed Boucher to a two-way contract, 
meaning that he could spend time with both the Dubs and the G League Santa Cruz Warriors. They also did this with his teammate Jordan Bell. Boucher made his NBA debut on March 14th and hit a three and grabbed a board to get his first stat sheet of his NBA career. Boucher was unavailable to the Dubs during the playoffs due to him being on a two-way contract. However, he was part of the NBA championship winning team and received a championship ring. In the summer offseason, the Warriors waived Boucher and he joined the Toronto Raptors. He was again signed on a two-way contract with the Raptors, but from his hard work ethic and desire to constantly improve, the Raptors converted his contract into a standard one in the February. Boucher would make 28 appearances for the Raptors, scoring 3.3 points per game and averaging two rebounds as well as .9 blocks per game. He made two appearances in the playoffs for Toronto on their way to winning the 2019 championship against his old employers, making Boucher a back-to-back -back NBA winner, a long journey from the homeless situation he found himself in between the ages of 16 to 18. In the current season, he has played a much bigger role, taking part in 55 games and recording 13.2 minutes per game, a jump from the 5.8 the previous season. He is also attempting more field goals and averaging double the amounts of points, 6.3 from 3.3. He is averaging a block a game and 4.4 rebounds, solid stats from a bench role player. Due to the increasing minutes and role on the team, Boucher has begun to improve his statistics and career highs, scoring 21 points in a win over Dallas. This was swiftly broken three days later in a game against the Boston Celtics, where he recorded 24 points. He also recorded a career-high 15 rebounds in a matchup against the Phoenix Suns. This season was starting to look like a breakout one for him, with the higher minutes, higher averages, and breaking his career highs allowing him to develop momentum and the Raptors were sitting at second in the Eastern Conference, appearing to get over the loss of Kavi Leonard before the season was stopped due to the current pandemic. Hopefully for Chris and everyone in Toronto, once the season resumes, he will be able to get started again with no hesitation and get back to having the best season of his career. One thing that truly stands out in this story is Chris's work ethic and his desire to constantly better himself. To go from homeless to undrafted to a double NBA champion takes a lot of hard work and a little bit of luck. It would seem that through his mature work ethic and his desire to constantly improve, Chris has put himself in the situation of having created his own luck and he is truly an asset to the Raptors franchise. What do you think the future holds for Boucher, a double NBA champion despite not taking the traditional path to the league? Do you think he will win more rings? Let me know in the comments. Just a quick reminder that we post Monday to Friday, so make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post our videos. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for our next video.